Mr. Malita, thank you so much for your time and talking you. to us. Thank you so much. Mr. Malita, uh, Tanzania is emerging as a major, major tourist destination in the East Africa region. And uh, now there are talks about issuing a common visa for the EAC countries, uh, the five EAC countries. So once that is in place, how do you see the tourism industry of Tanzania growing in the coming years? Uh, in fact, the tourism industry in Tanzania has been growing since 1984 when we started heavily promoting abroad and then thereafter we expected a lot of tourists to come in and that happened so the number has been growing up for the last year 2010 we had about 750,000 tourists coming in Tanzania and mostly were coming from uh, America followed by U United Kingdom, Germany and then thereafter other countries of the Europe but again, we have experienced uh, a gain up of, of uh, tourists from uh, uh, Arab Emirates, uh, United Arab Emirates, and that gave us the power of saying that we have a better chance now to promote in, in Arab, in Arabic countries. We started with the, having um, a pro big promotion and tourism fair in Abu Dhabi, whereby the tourists were invited to come to Tanzania, some investors coming to invest, and thereafter some tourism could go on. Now we are in Dubai, um, uh, Arab Emirates um, uh, travel market, and we are expecting to have a lot of turn up because of what we have seen people asking for Tanzania. Yeah. And uh, talking about investments, uh, you know, there is a huge potential for uh, investments in the, in the rising tourism market of Tanzania. What kind of uh, investment opportunities exist in, uh, in, the, in the tourism sector of Tanzania? Yeah, uh, in tourism there are several, several uh, investments people can go in. But mostly I've seen people coming for, tour, for uh, uh, hotel uh, constructions, investing in hotel services. So I've seen a lot of people coming in. It's just like um, now we have Kempiski, which is now heavy and invested right in Serengeti middle. And then we're having it in Dar es Salaam. And therefore we are going to have it in several areas. Not only that. But also people, they are investing in tourism services, transport. People are transporting the tourists from one destination to another in Tanzania. It's mostly invested in northern sector of Tanzania, but we are encouraging also people to go to the northern, southern sector of Tanzania. That covers Rua National Park, Mikumi, Katavi, Uzungwa, and also Selous Game Reserve. So having that, those type of investment, people are following um, like, like doing an industry the first. In fact, it is now the first earning um, um, foreign currency GDP to the GDP of the country. So I'm happy that tourism has shown up a tremendous increase and also supporting to our national economy. And a lot of people are coming also to Zanzibar to invest on, 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 on lodges, in, uh, on, on, on transport, shipping, and all that. So it means that also we are going to have a lot of people coming in to invest for tourism because we mainly uh, target the protected areas. People are coming for natural sources, come to see the animals. We are having game stones in Tanzania, but it's mainly taken by the yeah, eastern countries and not the, the Arabs. Arabs are coming mostly for hunting, which is mostly done in Selugam Reserve and most of the game controlled areas. And looking at the future, you know, there are a lot of significant changes that are supposed to be, that, that are taking place in the East Africa region, uh, specifically talking about the EAC, you know, and, uh, and the proposed uh, plans to have a common visa, tourist visa for EAC countries. How do you see that uh, as a positive step towards uh, the booming tourism sector of Tanzania? In fact, I could say yes, although sometimes I could say no, because, you know, even if other countries will drop their, their tourism, Tanzania will, will continue having tourists coming in because it is unique on itself. There is nowhere else you can find in Gorongoro Conservation. Uh, that is really a unique area where you, what, what, compared to what you can find in all of the African continents. There is a Serengeti, something which you can never find it anywhere else. You'll find just things just resembling that, 
but again it won't be the same. So those attractions which are found in Tanzania are all of its own kind and that is giving us power saying that probably even if they will stop anything in East Africa uh, cooperation, then Tanzania will never lose anything. And we have tried to manage our 25% of our territorial land as a protected area. That is giving us power that natural resources are not going to decline. So if we will maintain it that way, give it a good access to those resources and have good um, customer services, it means that we are not going to lose anything. What we think, we hope probably if Kenya will be doing better because he's having um, Kenya, Kenyatta Airport where most of the tourists are landing, then Arusha and therefore Tanzania Northern Circuit will develop more. That is our expectation. And we are hoping, or we, are, we are hoping also that the airports like Kilimanjaro and Dar es Salaam is going to be expanded now. There is a plan for the government to expand those airports and then thereafter we can uh, 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 have, we will be having a lot of uh, uh, landings than now. Yeah. So the competition in East Africa, it is not shaking the Tanzania stance on tourism promotions. Air Tanzania has played a vital role in connecting uh, the world to Tanzania. And uh, your organization is working hand in hand with Air Tanzania, uh, conducting road shows. Could you elaborate a little bit more about your, uh, your efforts, joint efforts with Air Tanzania and yeah. conducting tourism? Tanzania Tourist Board has done a lot. We started with the road shows in, in, in uh, America, then thereafter we went to England, and then we went to Far East, Japan, and also India. Now we are coming to Middle East, which we are now having, even having a permanent office in Abu Dhabi, and that one is going, going to connect the UAE all over, and then thereafter we are going to have road shows in destinations and cities we have identified in UAE. Having together the flight of Emirates and the also Qatar Airways, we are going to have a lot of people coming in from UAE. And that is our hope that if we will improve our airports, the way we are going to do it in a few, few days to come, then we are going to have a lot of UAE people connecting Tanzania directly as their hub, connecting other countries of the world to Tanzania. And the flight, Emirates flies, flies there every year, every day once. So there is a flight coming in, a flight going out every day. So it means that, and they also the same, same as Qatar Airways. So doing, having that, we are hoping that the Middle East is going to be connected through the Dubai hub. Emirates is going to be connected that way. Talking about uh, business hub, uh, Dubai has emerged as a major trade partner with Tanzania and trade between Dubai and Tanzania has been increasing over the recent years. Uh, how do you see the progression of trade uh, between the two countries? Yeah, it's really very good because, you know, there is no restrictions of Tanzanian coming in here and there is no restriction of, of exporting anything to Tanzania. People are getting money, especially the treasurers are getting a lot of money from the charges they are charging the businessmen who are coming to Dubai. And in Dubai, is, you know, it's the shortest destination from Tanzania. It's only five hours flight. You cannot compare with Hong Kong, cannot compare with any other destination. So people are coming from Tanzania direct, landing in Dubai, do shopping, and in three days they are back home. And that is connecting Tanzania with other varieties of commodities from other parts of, of the world. We are happy that Dubai hasn't restricted Tanzania from coming in. And that relationship should be maintained. Talking about the relationship, uh, how do you see the role of the Business Guide Africa in uh, promoting travel and trade ties between Africa and the Middle East region and uh, in, uh, to the larger world? Yeah, to me I would say it's good. It is good simply because Tanzania is accepted by anybody in the world. We are counted as one of the peaceful countries and secondly counted as a stable country, although it is having a lot of um, uh, uh, little down, little, little up, but again it's counted as a peace country, so everybody is a friend to Tanzania, we hope the relationship is good. We haven't had anything bad, we haven't any, had any bad talk to anybody in, in, in the UAE or uh, the world in general. What we are getting is positive image of Tanzania and that is going to sell better and then thereafter we'll have a, a good growth 
of our development and our, our business too, back home. Business Guide Africa magazine, has it helped in any way in promoting, uh, cementing ties between Africa and the Middle East? In fact, yes, although I have not gone deep in that, but I heard once that it was promoted. When I was in Abdab, I got the message from the ambassador that some of the promotions was done through this business guide. And to me, it was like, now it's a big support of telling people what is happening in Tanzania and people to know exactly what are they going to benefit when they land in Tanzania. So to me, really, Business Guide has done something, although witnessly, myself not, but from my ambassador, I heard about it, and I was very happy when I was in Abdab on March um, that something is happening. And I hope there is something going to be done by Tanzania Tourist Board in also UAE countries. And that is going to start from Abu Dhabi, an office which we have been given, offered by the UAE in Abu Dhabi. And then they have to connect all the medias to make sure that we are covered. I am sure, listening to your comments, that you know the, the future of Tanzania's tourism is in good hands. And uh, I wish you very best in your endeavors and thank you for your time. Thank you so much.